We're gonna, uh, Trevor's gonna be the starter in week one. Uh, he'll start this week as well. We wanted him to earn it, as we do with every position. Just apologize to the team and staff and uh, for being a distraction, just stupid. I'll fight for that locker room, I believe in that locker room, and if someone has something they can say about that locker room, they're incorrect. Telling us all year that you have faith in that offensive line. They're sitting there asking every week, like, what, what's going on there? They're being paid a lot of money to be better than what they've been. Yeah. And so I explained everything that happened and owned it, and you know, just stupid. Uh, should not have myself in that kind of position. Oh come on, come on! You know I had to. You know I had to. It's my, it's my my last hometown, home state story. Uh, just kind of putting Urban Meyer back in Ohio because that's where it all happened, right? That's where he had his most success at, at Bowling Green and at Ohio State. So he won a national championship. Um, that's where he had one of his uh, most uh, infamous moments, shall we call it that? Uh, he had a lot of infamous moments in Ohio. Uh, including his last next to last year at Ohio State where he certainly suddenly couldn't remember things that were on his cell phone and you know had some memory issues when he was being asked about an, a controversial assistant coach but you remember the night they lost to the Cincinnati Bengals and the rest of the team went back to Jacksonville and Urban stayed in Ohio and was uh, photographed videoed in a restaurant where he got a little lap dance from somebody who, who wasn't his wife. And so uh, Urban Meyer is in the news again because The Athletic did a comprehensive story. And it was really uh, great reporting, some fantastic anecdotes, including one we talked about yesterday where he says, uh, reportedly says, I keep waiting for him to knock this down. Knock down this, please. Knock this down. Come out and defend what's left of your reputation, Urban. Knock down the anecdote where you reportedly said, who's 99 on the Rams? He's pretty good. <laughs> who's 99? And of course, you all know that 99 is Aaron Donald. So the story portrays Urban Meyer as a guy who was um, a bit of a dictator uh, as a head coach, a guy who was not necessarily prepared, who didn't know how to communicate with his players, didn't know how to communicate uh, with his assistant coaches, with his scouts, with anybody. And ultimately, uh, he was fired uh, from the Jacksonville Jaguars. Now, uh, before we get to the comment section, I just want to say this about Urban Meyer. Look, we've had, I, I've had my fun uh, with Urban Meyer talking about all the things that he's done. And I knew he wouldn't be a good fit for the Jaguars. And not because he's a college coach. Not, not, that's not it. It's not just a college coach. It's a certain kind of college coach which I believe this this type of college coach is becoming a dinosaur, not just college in all of professional sports. I've always believed this. You show me a great coach. I'll show you a great teacher. Most of the time, great coaches are great teachers. And I know some teachers yell and some teachers can be uh, arrogant. But for the most part, a great teacher will meet you where you are and will explain it to you, uh, explain it to you in a way, sh uh, illustrate, illustrate it to you in a way that you never quite forget. You think about it. You remember some of your best coaches and some of your best teachers uh, to this day, right? In your mind's eye, you just thought of somebody. I think Urban Meyer and coaches like this are dinosaurs. I just don't, I can't think of anybody in professional sports who is a true bully and gets away with it. Now, I remember a lot of them growing up in all sports, like the bully coach, you know, uh, college football, college basketball, uh, you know, Major League Baseball, like, like those kind of abrasive feisty guys, you know, go belly to belly with umpires and they cuss out their players and get in fights in the dugout and all this stuff. I'd see, I, I don't think you can do it now. You can't do it. And so Urban Meyer, it comes from that tradition. And I think it's a cautionary tale for any NFL owner or general manager, club president, whatever your title is, if you got hiring and firing power and you're looking at somebody to bring in as the CEO, I hate that cliche, the CEO of the, uh, of the, of the organization. And, and he's, he, he, he's a leader of men, you know, blah, 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 all this stuff. 
That's not what you should be looking for. Because sometimes that guy doesn't really have the right mentality to lead people. You should be looking at let, let, let's go with the let's go with the uh, the mail room, the mail room story. You know that 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 CEO who started off at the lowest rung of the organization, worked their way up, did a variety of jobs, and so when they got to the top, and they eventually get to the top, they are able to empathize with everybody. They're able to see from various perspectives because they've done that job and they've grinded a little bit to get to the top. They weren't appointed, they earned it. And I feel like Urban Meyer, for the last 20 or 25 years, has been appointed to positions, but hasn't really grinded his way to, to the top. He's been appointed, and it's a difference. You can disagree, but I think that's what, I, I think that's really what, what causes demise in Jacksonville. Just not humble enough. Doesn't relate to people well enough, clearly. That athletic story tells you all about it. And if you don't read the athletic story, just remember this. <laughs> We're going to get to uh, some of your comments coming up next. Uh, we've decided to uh, go with Trevor. Oh, really? The number one overall pick. You decided to go with it. Okay, Urban. Hey, thanks for watching Brother from Another on YouTube. Make sure you hit subscribe before you leave and be sure to watch us 3 to 5 p.m. Eastern Time on Peacock. Appreciate you.